Love Island star Amy Hart has gotten her happy ending after announcing the exciting news that she's expecting a baby. The reality star was looking to fall in love for the first time when she first entered the Love Island villa in 2019, but instead ended up getting her heart broken when Curtis Pritchard's head was turned in Cosa Moore. In emotional scenes, Amy quit the show and has since spoken openly about her struggles with mental health. But since leaving the villa, the reality star has gone from strength to strength. She spent two years working on her mental health and has been busy establishing a career on the West End. She also continued on her pursuit of love and has now finally found the love of her life, who she plans to marry. Here's everything we know about Amy's life since Love Island, including her tough fertility journey and search for love. Who is Amy Hart's boyfriend? Amy Hart is dating entrepreneur Sam Rosson, and expecting a baby with him. The couple went public with their relationship last year and in August 2021 Amy announced the news to her Instagram followers as she shared some loved up pictures of her and Sam, captioning the post, good things come to those who wait. Since then, Amy has been open about her plans for a future with Sam, telling Mail Online last month that he was the love of her life and that they were weighing up whether to get married first, or have a baby. She said, settling down is on the cards for us. We just need to decide at the end of this year whether we're going to have children first or get married first. Ideally, I would like to get married before having kids, but I have all my fertility issues, so potentially baby first just so we know it's done, there is a biological clock. She added, my 30s are for me, Sam, and any children we may have. Amy Hart's appearance on Celebs Go Dating After Love Island, Amy continued to look for love on reality TV as she appeared on Celebs Go Dating in 2020. It was on this show that she met account manager Kurt McKenna. The pair seemed to hit it off as their dates were broadcast on screen and were even having conversations about going exclusive. However after the show the romance fizzles out as Amy admitted that lockdown had made things difficult for the pair, she told OK, we still chat, obviously, lockdown has made it a little bit difficult. What is Amy Hart doing now? After appearing on Celebs Go Dating, Amy has since decided to move away from reality TV into a new career on the West End. In 2021 she made her debut as a producer on the West End, working on the revival of Justin Butcher's Scaramouche Jones, which starred EastEnders Shane Ritchie. She's also taken to the stage herself, starring in Jack and the Beanstalk at the King's Theatre in Southsea, Hampshire last year. Recently, Amy has hinted that she could be making another career move, this time into politics. In March she told The Sun about how she'd love to write a book about politics for the Love Island generation as she said, I think I could be a relatable MP dash something a lot of them are not. I think integrity and compassion is missing in politics and I can bring that. I have a nice life now, I earn good money. I don't need to get into politics but I would love to. Amy Hart's fertility issues Amy is all loved up with Sam, but when it came to her hopes of motherhood, the reality star was also ready to go it alone before she found love. Her happy baby news comes after she opened up about the fertility issues she's faced and her decision to have her eggs frozen. Opening up about how much she wanted children, she told the son, I would love to get married and have kids. Being a mum is something that is really, really important to me. It is something that I would do on my own if I didn't meet the right man. 
she added, I have a rough age in mind. If I'm still not with anyone when I'm 35 I would like to do it on my own although I may end up doing it earlier than that. That age isn't set in stone. Amy began freezing some of her eggs at the age of 27 because early menopause runs in her family and she learned that she had a low ovarian reserve. She's since said that if she doesn't use all the eggs that she's had frozen then she'll donate them. Speaking about her fertility journey on Good Morning Britain, she said, with the chance thing, everything in life is chance, what certainties are there in life? I take chances every day, and they might work out and they might not. I've known I've wanted to be a mum since I was a child. And I was in a position to do it, egg freezing, so I was like, if it's gonna help me. And if I can't use them, then they'll donate them.